one year, it was in 98 actually it was, I was at Andrews playing for uh, Dwight Nelson's uh, series of meetings there, Net 98 it was called. And I went over to the gym to work out. Um, I've always been interested in, in, in trying to keep in shape, but I was really, you know, not in great shape at that time. And I happened to pick up a magazine and I noticed in it was, it was a contest to improve in 12 weeks a chance to win $13,000 or, well actually the, the first prize was a Viper. Well, I don't know how much those are things are worth, but a lot. And I said, you know, I need a, some motivation, something, so I uh, wrote down the information. When I got home, I sent for the inf stuff and the requirements and everything needed to be done. And then I started the most rigorous training session that I can think of. I was almost 61 years old at the time. I said, most people are getting towards retirement, you know, and you're past your prime. So I, I followed the program. I worked out with weight training about an hour and a half, six days a week. And I did an hour of aerobics every day and I was teaching full time. And I used to run with my dog at in the morning and at night, you know, and get back to, and, and, uh, and the pounds began to creep off of me because I was, you know, flabby and, and, and overweight. You should see the before pictures. You wouldn't believe it how it was. Uh, you've seen the after ones, but, uh, so I finally, as the weeks came to an end, and um, I dropped 30 pounds. And that wasn't dieting. Well, it was in a way, but it was eating healthy food and a lot of exercise, burning what you eat. And I was, you know, really hard and, and, and defined and, and so on. So I had to send the pictures in with a newspaper showing the date when I, pictures were taken and, and your before and after pictures. I said, well, that's it. I'll never probably hear anything more about it. And um, a number of weeks went by and I got a phone call from the Max Muscle headquarters down in Anaheim, California. And I said, congratulations, you won. I, I thought I was hearing something, you know, that wasn't quite true. Now they had different classes. But I was the oldest person to enter that contest. So I went down there, they paid the flight for uh, my whole family to go down there and we stayed in the hotel and we had a wonderful celebration. And uh, they gave me a big check, it was about like this, $13,000. <laughs> well actually it was 10,000, but $3,000 with all the gear and clothes and all the kind of stuff I could, I could possibly want. So that was the motivation of that. Um, I did pay kind of a price for that though. Um, I cracked two ribs working out too hard. Um, I was squatting with uh, like 400 pounds, uh, leg presses, and I, I injured my knee. And um, also because I think my resistance was down, I was pushing myself too much, I got shingles. So <laughs> it wasn't a good, a good thing, overdoing it. And God doesn't want us to, to go one way or the other, being out of shape or doing too much, you know, the, a balanced thing is what, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, I went down this morning and worked out. Yesterday I worked out for an hour, hour and a half, and I'm still doing it. But um, it's not, it doesn't get any easier, but you know, you have to keep active. And I think God wants our minds, and the most important thing is our spiritual lives, of course. Uh, eternal life is the most precious thing that we can wish, hope for, and seeing Christ face to face. But mentally we have to be alert, and physically. I, I really feel it's very difficult for a pastor who is 100 pounds overweight to get up and preach a health message. Um, it, it's really hard to be convincing, I think. And it's a very t tough thing. I mean, the first sin was the result of appetite, wasn't it? And I think there will be people who will be lost because of appetite, can't control that. And so I, I still struggle with that sometimes, and it's not easy. 
The um, exercise was only one part. Diet was about just as important. And um, being a vegetarian, which I am, it's um, most of the contestants, of course, ate a lot of meat and so on. But I had read enough to know that vegetarians have much more endurance. You can work longer and harder, and they've done studies on that and you, when you eat. So I, had, I took some protein supplements, but most of the time I just ate a, a less of the worst kind of foods, you know, and uh, try to eat healthily all the way through. No, meat did not enter into that at all. You don't need it. The body can function perfectly well with a vegetarian diet if you eat, if you wi eat wisely. You need to get all the nutrients and you need protein, of course, but I mean, think of all the, the vegetable the legumes and, and beans and, and you name it. And I didn't, uh, we don't eat dairy products. I try to stay away from mostly cheese. Uh, I went to soy milk. So, um, and my mother, you know, she's been a vegetarian. She lived to be 102, she just died two years ago. Um, so she always credits the fact that she was a vegetarian. That was one of the things that kept her going for so long. So no, it's, 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 it's important to, to realize, follow the diet that God gave us in the very beginning. And I always eat, um, we have nuts every day. I always eat some fruit every day. And I try to eat as many vegetables as I can. That's not as my favorite. But I use a Vitamix and I mix up a lot of kale and spinach and pineapple and apples, which I had this morning and uh, satisfied me. And boy, you feel a lot better too, you know. But um, it's, it's a tough, tough thing in this day and age when we're bombarded with all kinds of advertisements about different kinds of foods and so on.